everyone and welcome to my new Dory paint video and today guys we are going to make the Harley Quinn doll and you know it's quite funny because this time I was choosing between three different characters to make I was choosing between Harley Quinn, Alice in Wonderland and Sailor Moon and I really couldn't choose one of these three characters so I have decided to start rerouting their hair so I would have a couple of days extra to think, to look at their outfits, accessories and finally pick up one of these characters. And you know, while I was busy rerouting her hair, I've seen the news that Lady Gaga would be the new Harley Quinn in the new Joker movie. So you know, I took it as a sign and today we're going to make the Harley Quinn doll. But I'm going to make the old version of Harley Quinn, I mean the Margot Robbie one, because we don't know that much about Lady Gaga's Harley Quinn. I'm sure she's going to have amazing outfits. I don't even doubt it's going to be cool. Uh, so maybe in a couple of years, or what, in a year, in two years, I will make the second Harley Quinn version, the Lady Gaga version of this character. But today I will make uh, the 2016 Margot Robbie Harley Quinn. So let's start the transformation. But actually, before we begin, I want to thank the sponsor of today's episode, my favorite online learning platform Skillshare. I follow new classes on Skillshare literally every week to learn something new to improve my business and my art, to become better at photography and video editing and also to improve my time management skills. And while Skillshare is mostly known for classes in photography, film and video editing and illustration, actually they offer hundreds of career focused classes as well. You can use Skillshare to learn how to design a career to fit you, because not everyone is happy with their traditional 9 to 5 working schedule. So you can explore your creative and career options and learn what it takes to break into a creative industry. Or you can also take classes to find your creative voice and style and gain more financial stability. For this I can recommend a couple of classes that I followed myself lately. The first one is called Make a Living as an Artist Strategies for Crafting Your Creative Business by Brooke Glazer. I followed lots of Brooke's classes on Skillshare when I was learning Procreate and I really enjoyed all of them. So I thought I would give this one a go and it was actually very useful and inspiring class. It's a fun, practical and a really comprehensive guide to making money as an artist. And it really helps to understand how the different parts of your business affect each other. So if you are starting your first art business, this class is definitely for you. And if you've been already in the business for a few years, you will also find lots of helpful tips there. Well, I did at least. And another class that I enjoyed lately is called Vlogging for Business, Build Your Brand with Video by Erin Winters. You know, I would love to show more behind the scenes life of my doll making studio, but I'm not really a vlogger and I feel like I need advice on how to make business vlogs interesting and informative, but also personal at the same time. So Erin offers straightforward and beginner friendly advice that anyone can use to launch and grow a successful business vlog and a successful business as well. So highly recommended this class as well. And if you want to try Skillshare, you can do it completely for free right now because the first thousand people to use the link in the description box under this video will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So go there and check it out. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring my channel, for sponsoring this week's episode. And now let's start the doll transformation. So this is the doll I've chosen for this transformation. I think she has a perfect face to be Harley because it's not all soft and round like Draculaura, for example, but rather more with sharp angles. I think she looks a little bit like Margot Robbie. So let's work on this doll. First of all, I'm going to undress her, cut her hair off, and then I will warm her head up with a hair dryer to make the rubber soft and to be able to disconnect it from the body easily. Oops. 
Oops. <laughs> I've got a problem here. The pin that keeps the neck anchor inside of the hat broke off. It doesn't happen that often, but it happens sometimes, so Harley is already playing her tricks on me. But anyway, it will be really easy to fix, but I need to remove all this glue and short hair from the inside of her head first, while it's all still warm and soft. Otherwise, I will have to warm it up again. And after this, we will fix the neck. So, the next situation. I will have to glue this tiny pin back to the inside of the neck. It's not really difficult, it doesn't affect the doll, but it's just a little bit annoying, of course, that I have to deal with it. I would prefer to move on with the project. Good, it's fixed. Now the glue can dry and meanwhile I will give her new blonde hair. I will also use glue there to fix this new hair inside of the head. So I will be able to let all this glue dry for a couple of days and meanwhile I will be able to start a new project, for example. <laughs> Okay, the face. Well, first of all, I need to make this doll more pale. Harley has traditionally a very fair complexion. And then I will work on her iconic makeup. You know it, one eye pink, another eye blue. Everything is a little bit smudged and grungy. And plus a red lipstick. So this is the plan for today.
Harley has tattoos on one side of her face, so let's draw them. There is a heart and there is also a word rotten written on her jawline. it I think. This is the finished face so now I can blush the body to make it the same color like the face and then I will draw all her tattoos. But wait, I want to change her left hand first because this doll has two different hands, I've just noticed it. So I want to remove this tiny and gentle hand and I want to replace it with the hand in a glove because Harley wears one glove so I think it will be perfect. And yes, Harley has a lot of tattoos, most of them are Joker related, so I will try to recreate them as close to the original as I can. Great, the body looks amazing, check out all of her tattoos, I think they look beautiful, I don't make tattoos on dolls that often, so I'm really happy about this result, but now let's move on and let's make her outfit. I will try to recreate this look that has already become really legendary and iconic, it has lots of details, so it will be fun. 
And I will start with making her shorts out of this metallic red and blue fabric that I bought especially for this project. So let's start with the shorts. You can see I've also made black tights out of tulle and now I want to make some holes in them to make them look more kind of grungy and also to make the tattoos on her legs more visible. Great, now let's make a t-shirt. The top part of the t-shirt should be red, so I'm going to paint it with fabric markers. That is Lil Monster text on the special transfer paper. It's made for transferring pictures on t-shirts. And this is exactly what I'm going to do today. I'm going to transfer this picture onto the doll's t-shirt. Perfect, the t-shirt is done and now I need to make a jacket. I will use the same metallic fabric that I already used to make her shorts today and I will start with connecting the two back parts together, the red half and the blue half and then I will transfer another picture to the future back of the jacket.
yes, I think it looks great. So now let's connect the rest of the parts together and then I will add some details such as cuffs and a zipper and what else, a collar, these things. jacket guys check it out I think it looks really good I'm super happy about it the outfit looks already amazing now I still want to paint this glove and then we're kind of done with the main outfit and the next step will be making her accessories So first of all I'm going to make this pudding choker and a pair of bracelets saying yes and sir. The choker and the bracelets I'm going to make out of warbler thermoplastic of course, that's very easy, it's perfect material for all kinds of bracelets. bunch of tiny letters using this silicone mold for nail design and also nail building gel. So now I have enough letters to spell everything and I can attach them to the choker and to the bracelets. And after this I will paint them with acrylics. So this is what I've made, some adorable accessories, really super cute, super tiny. Now let's put them on the doll, I think they will look great on her.
perfect. Her outfit is almost finished, guys, but our Harley still needs a pair of boots. And look what I have. These are normally rainbow high shoes, but their design is simply a copy of Harley's boots. It cannot be better. These are not similar boots. These are the boots, really. Unbelievable. I just need to remove all this orange paint and make them black and white with red heels. So, let's do it. Our shoes look absolutely perfect now really simply cannot be better so now I still need to add a belt to her shorts I've kind of forgotten about this detail and after this we will work on her hair I already made two ponytails and I also marked a level till where her hair should be colored. And now I will use these dyes for synthetic fibers to dye her hair. And I will use this pink, blue and I think I will also add this purple color to it. To be honest, the blue side disturbs me a bit because her blonde hair has some serious yellow subtone. And I think it will turn green if I simply dye it blue. So maybe this purple will neutralize the yellow. I hope so at least. So let's try. Let's do it. Well guys, this is the next day, the pink side looks really perfect, but the blue side <laughs> doesn't look that good, of course it was predictable, I've soaked it already three times yesterday, but it predictably turned green when I used blue dye and it got grey when I added purple. Again, it's all very predictable. And I also added a little bit of navy blue, it made it all too dark, but it also looks much darker and grayer on camera, so I don't know. I'm not happy at the moment. Let's be honest, it's not exactly the color I wanted to get, and I have to fix it somehow now. So I will take this blue fabric marker and I will add blue highlights with it. I've already tested it here on the strand, it all looks good, definitely much better than what I've got now, so let's try it. And you know guys, 
guys, I'm actually really happy with the way her hair turned out. After all, it looks really cute despite all the stress. The blue side is maybe still a little bit too dark, but it looks good. I'm really happy about it. So now let's style it and let's make it all more finished. Check it out, her hair looks actually really great after all this struggle and stress. So now I want to attach false lashes, add gloss to her eyes and lips, and then we'll make a baseball bat for her. To be honest guys, I know absolutely nothing about baseball and baseball bats. I don't think I've ever seen one in real life, really, just in American movies on TV. So I had to google the size, the shape, the proportions of baseball bats, and now I will try to make it out of Warbler thermoplastic. And I don't know, check it out. I think it looks like a baseball bat. I don't know, Americans, tell me what you think. Please don't judge me too harsh. American football is not popular here in Europe. We know literally nothing about it. I'm sorry, so please don't be too harsh. So now let's paint it and add all this text that Harley has on it. And the words on Harley Quinn's bat are actually the lyrics to the Harley Quinn nursery rhyme from the video game Batman Arkham City. So, some interesting information. This is my finished baseball bat. Again, Americans, please don't, don't judge me too harsh. I really did my best today. So um, now I think we're done, guys. And it's time to take a look at the end result pictures. So guys, and this is my finished Harley Quinn doll, and you can see that this girl is bad, because some people are just bad, you know? 
<laughs> so it was quite a big project this time with lots of details but you know I had fun making all these things like drawing her tattoos dyeing her hair that was really interesting and the end result looks really beautiful of course her hair gave me some stress this time but I think it looks really great in the end it's a pity we cannot really see all her tattoos most of them are really hidden under her clothes because this is probably my second doll, yeah, with lots of tattoos, if I'm not mistaken. The first one was Lady Gaga a couple of years ago, and now it's Harley. So I should make more dolls with tattoos and not cover them with an outfit the next time. So her outfit and accessories look good. I especially like the choker and the bracelets with those tiny letters. I also enjoyed making them. And I still cannot believe how similar those rainbow high boots are to the Harley's boots in the movie. They have definitely copied the design. I don't know, it was funny for me, fun discovery. So guys, and now I would love to hear your feedback. What do you think about this project? What do you like about it? And what would you make different maybe? I'm always curious to know. And if you want to buy this doll, please check out the link in the description box under this video. She is available for sale on eBay for three days like always. So maybe this one is for you. So, and that was my doll transformation of the week, guys. I hope you enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And I will see you very soon in my new doll makeover video. Love you guys. Bye.